Hi, I'm Sherry Agiluni, team leader of Sherry & Co. Welcome to Roswell, Georgia. I believe long day, I believe long day. I've been moving along, singing my song. Running around, ain't nothing wrong. Oh, 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 I live long day. Today, we're going to take you on a tour of this beautiful city located about 20 minutes north of Atlanta on the banks of the Chattahoochee River. It is such a beautifully laid out city. It came about very organically, which I like. Some cities are very contrived. This city just became. I think the city has, the city planning has done a great job of bringing all of the architecture together, keeping kind of an old world feel to the city. And you'll see this along Canton Street and many of the other streets that border it. Today, I'm gonna to introduce you to Anissa, our marketing manager and Joy Bowman, our wonderful lead buyer's agent. They're gonna to talk to you about the city that they love and know. Anissa lives here and Joy comes here all the time, lives very close and also has sold many, many homes in Roswell, helping people find their dream home here. I'm so excited to share a little bit about what I love about Roswell, Georgia with you. Um, my husband, John and I, as you know, moved here five years ago and we love it. I think a lot of people, uh, when they think of Roswell, think of historic Roswell and right. Canton Street. But I have to tell you, there is so much more about Roswell to love. I know that we love being close to the river. There are a ton of national parks close by, and there's a lot of walking trails. It's just a place that we love. Yeah, Paul and I love it also. We um, live pretty close by. We can actually very easily Uber here. Um, we actually had our daughter's semi-engagement <laughs> party here um, a few weeks ago. And then we ended up over at Rock and Taco and Gate City Brewery. So lots of fun things to do. Yeah, our son um, had his rehearsal dinner here at Roswell Provisions, and then he was married on Mimosa at um, Primrose Cottage, which is beautiful. There are a lot of wedding venues down here. So there's gonna be more. There's gonna be more, and the good news is we think we have a new hotel coming in yeah. where the old Wells Fargo is. That's gonna all be redeveloped and there'll be an autograph hotel and more parking. But let me say, for a lot of people who don't know, right across the street from where we're sitting is um, Roswell City Hall and the parking there is free in the evening. And it's a huge parking lot and there's a lighted walkway and it takes you right to the crosswalk. So it's super safe, safe. to cross Highway 9 but I think a lot of people real, don't realize it's there. Roswell is known for its park system, its historical society. They do a great job, um, again, of architectural control, making sure the historical buildings are preserved. They're also known for all of their festivals. They have an arts festival that I love. Um, they also do, it used to be called a Live at Five, or a Live in Roswell. Live at Roswell. And it's Thursday nights, um, and that is a lot of fun. That's also on Canton Street. And don't forget the Saturday Farmer's Market in the summer. Oh, yeah. That's right. Lots of local vendors and nice things here on oh, Saturday. Yeah. If you're thinking about making Roswell home, there are so many choices. Downtown Roswell, Canton Street, this is what we call downtown Roswell, has lots of different options from townhomes or older gated communities like Georgetown. Yeah. Um, there are new construction. And then we have, we have everything in between. We have condos, we have single family homes. Farmhouse styles have been very big here, probably over the last five to 10 years. Anything within a mile radius of downtown Roswell is considered walkable and also higher price per square foot. So a lot of people that bought here five, 10 years ago have made a great sum of money on their homes. It's, it's just a lot of fun for people to be able to get out at night and walk down, have dinner, whatever. And if you're willing to go a little further out of Roswell, there's Country Club of Roswell, which is Willow Springs, of course you've been, which is another golf course community. Yeah. Um, Saddle Creek, which is nice ranch homes on large yeah. lots. So there's lots of options that are close to downtown Roswell, but not on top of downtown Roswell, I guess. Right. And as you guys know, um, John and I bought our house five years ago because we used the team. We had a really good agent who advised us to look a little further away from downtown Roswell. And I have to say, we love it. Our neighborhood's made up of townhomes. We have single family homes. 
We love the fact that the HOA takes care of the yard, so we don't do that anymore. Um, we have a tennis court, we have a pool, so it's everything that we need, and the location is fantastic. And hey, when we do want to come to Roswell, we just call Uber. Another thing that makes Roswell popular is for commuters. It's actually about 20 miles or 20 to 30 minutes to downtown. So if you're working in Atlanta, this is a little closer than some of our other northern cities like Alpharetta and Cumming. Yeah, I know that was a big factor for John and I when we purchased our home. John was working in an office in Midtown Atlanta and our neighborhood is really less than a mile from Georgia 400. He can be in his parking garage on a good day in 25 minutes. We want to go to dinner in Buckhead, easily 20 minutes parked at the table uh, airport yeah that's yeah. great that yeah. you know if we feel like driving you know maybe 40 45 minutes but honestly the north spring marta station is really close and when i overpack i like to go there and get let out right in the airport another good thing about roswell is the north fulton school cluster um two high schools that feed from roswell or roswell high school and centennial high school mm -hmm. both have got great clubs sporting activities Centennial has the International Baccalaureate program, and then both of those high schools have got AP yeah. um, classes. So, yeah, good options for high schools. In there this are area. the private schools in our area are really popular too. I know a lot of people in my neighborhood go to um, Atlanta Academy, and then there's also it's not technically in Roswell, but it butts up to Roswell, and that's Mount Pisgah Christian School. And then um, on this side of Roswell, of course, there's Blessed Trinity Blessed High Church. School, which is very popular. So do you feel like Canton Street, this area of Roswell that we're sitting in, kind of overshadows the east side of Roswell? I do, um, but there are a lot of nice neighborhoods on the east side, and you get a little more bang for your buck there. Um, you know, swim tennis communities and larger homes, larger lots, more family neighborhoods maybe. Golf courses too. Yeah, yeah exactly. right. Yeah. Horseshoe yes. Bend and Willow, Willow Springs. Springs. Both. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. And I know I'm a little bit biased, but I gotta tell you, there's some cool things over there. We have a fabulous brew pub over there called From the Earth Brewing. They've been Love named that. one of the best ones yep. in the country. They have fantastic food and they've really become kind of a hub for our little part of town. They host concerts on a regular basis. Um, and they do some really fun events. So they'll do, they'll organize a bike ride and you ride bikes and then you end at the brew pub and do a beer tasting. And they've also done kayak trips down the Chattahoochee. They partner with the NOC. They also just announced that they're uh, bringing their beer garden back. It's um, on weekend nights and they set it up uh, on the grounds of the Nantahala Outdoor Center, um, and they bring their food trucks. So that's fantastic. Who doesn't want to do that on a summer night? Oh, yeah. That sounds <laughs> so I read recently that Roswell was designated a walk friendly community and one of only three in the state, right? That's right. Designated, that's right. also bicycle friendly. That's right. I think Roswell, you will find, is very focused on being friendly to pedestrians right. and bicycles. I and mean, would you agree? Yes, there's a lot of bike shops in the area, there's a lot of places to ride your bike. Um, there is seven miles of walkway right along the banks of the Chattahoochee if you want to go take a walk. Um, I know that for John and I personally, one of the reasons we purchased in Roswell is because we like outdoor activities. Um, right around the corner from us is East Roswell Park. Uh, there's also Big Creek Park, which if you're into um, mountain bike riding, it's a great place, very popular on the weekends. We do walk our dog there. It's also where you can join on the Big Creek Greenway. So honestly, if you wanted to start at your house, I could start at my house. We could actually meet. Oh, we could meet in the middle, right? There's Roswell Area Park that's right here in downtown. They both have athletic fields, pools, spray parks, tennis courts, everything you could want. And one thing I think is kind of unique to Roswell is they have an adult recreation center. So it's it's geared for people 25 years and older. There's a pool, there's a complete fitness facility. So that's something a little bit different. Right. And then of course, I mentioned it earlier, the Nantahala Outdoor Center, and you could rent kayaks there. Yeah. You could put your canoe in there. Lots of places to get into the Chattahoochee from Roswell. Absolutely. It's one of, yeah. I really think it is the star of Roswell. No offense, Camp Street, but I really do think a huge, right. a huge draw. It's great. Roswell is one of those cities that other cities around here have looked at as far as the park system and gone, okay, they've done a really good job of spacing out parks so that every little area of the city has access to a public park. That's true. And I think other cities now, including Cumming, is doing a good job, right, yes. of expanding their yes. park system. They really are. But I think they use Roswell as a guide.
And we're really lucky too that um, we have several sections of national recreation and national parks here. You know, the Chattahoochee National Recreation Park goes all the way from Atlanta to Lake Lanier. We have a big section of that. You could go at Vickery Creek, you could hike back through there, see a waterfall, you could cross a covered bridge. So that's something about else that's really unique that we yeah. love. Don't forget about the Chattahoochee Nature Park. Um, lots of fun activities there in the summer, especially with kids. Oh, yeah. Um, parents take their kids there in the summer and they do lots of neat things. Oh, yeah. And then also Riverside Park. Oh, that's a great place. Yeah, lots, lots of swings and playground equipment. And don't forget about the stage where they have the uh, sounds of Riverside. Which is a summer concert series. That's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah, great place to bring a blanket, bottle of wine, relax. Yep. Right? Thank you for joining us on our little tour of Roswell. We hope you enjoyed it. It is a beautiful city. If you'd like more information, check out our website at sherryandcorealestate.com. Great place for additional information on the community and schools. And if you'd like to make Roswell your home, please give us a call. I'd love to show you around. And I'd love to have you as my neighbor.